four years ago, yeah. we sat beside each other just like this, and we had a conversation about love. When you have a disability, you don't know when you're gonna get that shot, Chris. And you gotta be ready. And ladies, this guy is ready. What would you like to say to every single person who saw your video four years ago? I'm getting married, dude. <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> I love it. I'm so happy for you. She said yes. Touchdown. <laughs> you deserve it. You deserve it. How do you feel when Jeff refers to you as his fiance? It's almost unbelievable. It's a wonderful feeling. It is because this is my soulmate calling me his fiance. That's powerful. It really is. I still feel like a little teenage girl kind of giggly and giddy about it. And I gotta tell you, she's beautiful. Oh, thank you. She's beautiful. Welcome to SBSK. We believe that everybody has a story that's worthy of being heard. When we listen to one another, the world becomes a closer place, and we all benefit together. So without hesitation, let's meet today's friend. She looks for ways to help me. She looks to put a smile on my face. But the biggest thing I love about Lynn she knows when I'm hurt. And she wants me to open up to her about the pain. Cause when I'm in love or not, I still experience pain mm -hmm. and heartache. And she challenged me to be a better man. And that's something that I set the bar high for me. She raises it. So sweet. What did you think when you saw that video with Jeff for the first time? I was really touched. Really, really touched. It's like you see this human being opening it up, being so raw with everyone and showing his vulnerability. When I see another guy mistreating a lady, and then I look in the mirror and say, well, I wish I had that opportunity now treat a woman like they want to be treated. Have you ever been afforded that opportunity? No, no, sir. And it, it's really a problem in my life right now. I try not to display it when I'm in public. But, you know, I'm 45 years old. I, I don't have anybody to go home with to and say, hey, how was your day, honey? That's what I want. Oh, it was so powerful. I was so overcome with emotion because I've never seen a human so genuine and raw. And just the way he spoke about the little things about love that he wanted. I'm like, that's what I want too. We all just want those simple little gestures of love like holding hands or slow dancing together. Having someone to wake up in the morning with. That image and that video was always in the back of my mind. And no matter how many times I try to push it away, it's there. It's like, I feel something here. This could be the start of something really beautiful. When we touch when we embraced each other after talking for four months from Colorado to here, just talking, FaceTiming, when we met at that gate, it was like we knew each other our whole life. When we embraced each other, we didn't let go for 10 minutes. Did you speak during that time? No, dead silent, just hurt. He became my best friend. 
You are. I love it. That's got to be the biggest compliment a lady, a fiance can give me. Is you're my best friend. That means more to me than anything I've ever heard in my life. He has a great sense of humor. He can make me laugh even when I'm mad or I'm feeling sad. He knows how to make me laugh. I'm like, I don't want to laugh right now, but dang, you're making me laugh. He tells me all these football terms. I'm like, it's like you're talking Greek to me. I have no idea what you're saying. But I keep talking. Yes, you do. <laughs> I'm just sitting there confused. <laughs> Do you still listen to him even when you don't know what he's talking about? He tries. I'm trying. I'm really trying for him because I know it's so important to him. And I want to share that moment with him. Even if I'm really confused at the end, I'm like, what's this? What was that? What was this? She'll let me go through a whole 15 minute story. Then she'll say, what's a flag? <laughs> 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 I'm like, oh my word. <laughs> How do you feel when you hear Jeff laugh? I love it. I think he has one of the best laughs ever. He also has a very mischievous laugh. I knew that word was coming. You do. You have this. When I hear that laugh, I'm like, he's up to something. Especially if we're in another room and I hear that laugh, I'm like, Okay, I gotta prepare myself. He's gonna do something. I've changed since I met her. I'm, I'm, I'm goofy. I love her. I love her to death. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with her. I don't fear it. I, it excites me. You know? What is it like to know you're gonna spend the rest of your life with somebody who you love? I love that smile you have, by the way. I know. It, it's almost like, you know, after a day at work, typically I'd go home and go to dinner. And now it's fun to drive up the driveway and have somebody out on the patio waiting for you. She's out there waiting for me to get home. And I've always been jealous of all my friends because they've had that. And now I'm not jealous because I got it. I'm not alone no more. You know, things aren't perfect, but I don't have to be imperfect alone anymore. It's a really, really comfortable feeling. Sometimes I still have my pinch me moments. Is, did this really happen? Did I really meet the love of my life on social media? Did I really just travel thousands of miles to meet a man? But you know, it's, it's amazing because I knew in my heart, just talking to him over the months we talked and we had some deep conversations. And I'm like, wow, I'm forming a really soul connection with this man. My mom said, when you're ready to propose to that girl, here's what you need to do. I'm like, Mom, I've only known her three weeks. She's like, I know, but she's the one. And my mom has always been the one who didn't want me to get hurt. So she kind of be careful. When my mom threw that out at me, I'm like, oh no, here we go. I'm just thinking about how like four years ago, we were sitting on a couch having a conversation about the desire to find love. And now we're having a conversation about how you found it. Yeah. I'm really happy for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I want to tell you views. We are having a small wedding for financial reasons, but there are two people on that list that will not get off that list, and it's you and Alyssa. You know we'll be there. You better be. And I'm honored. Yep. Yep. I'm, you know I'm going to cry. <laughs> That's the only reason <laughs> I'm <right> here. <laughs> 
Hmm. Tell me about what you did today. Well, it was exciting. We went to go see our wedding photographer and talk about engagement shoots and the actual wedding. You did all the talking because it should be. But you cried. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> you did. Well, you know, we were in the middle of talking about our wedding photos and it hit me that I'm getting married. I never thought I'd get married. Now I just gotta get out and understand football. And then, then I think we'll be the perfect couple. Is she starting to get it? No. We, we might be collecting for one k before that happens. And I think it felt good for me that she asked me about my disability. When somebody asked me about my disability, the typical person would think that's rude, but not me. If you ask me about the biggest part of my life, that shows me that you care. And she did. Definitely. Well, you made it so easy because Jeff is just so open about his disability. And I never felt like I had to be afraid to ask these questions. And he seemed to really, you did seem to really appreciate it. When I first interviewed Jeff four years ago, he said that many people don't visualize their spouse walking down the wedding aisle with a disability. When you're in middle school and high school, you dream about your wedding day and walking the, uh, down the aisle with the football star with the cute face and the good looking body. How many people dream of walking down the aisle with a man with cerebral palsy? Probably zero. And that hurts. Can you visualize anything but Jeff walking down that aisle on your wedding day? No, it's him. You know, and he's, I think his walk is different, but I think it's like a proud strut. I just love it. It's so weird. It's like, there's no doubt in my mind. It's like, we're meant to be. It's just so true. It's like, we're meant to be and everyone else sees it. It's like, yeah. These two were meant for each other. Jeff, I gotta ask you, what's it like for you to hear her say that? Ha! I'm in there crying like a baby. Cause I love to hear how I'm, why she loves me talking to another person. And I'm proud to say everything she says about me is true. That's who I am. I love. <laughs> Did she help you accept that all those things are true? That you are a person who deserves love? Absolutely. Absolutely. She, uh, she validates me every day. I don't have to try to be the best guy out there. I don't have to try to not have CP. I can be Jeff. Goofy, Jeff, vulnerable Jeff, Jeff that spills stuff. I can be Jeff. There's no pretending. Right. Exactly what I can be myself with you. Yeah. Definitely. I, I never felt afraid to show every emotion with you. I don't like seeing her cry. That's got to be the most intense feeling that I've ever experienced, seeing Lane cry. What did you think when you saw her cry? I cried. What can I do? And it's not, let me make it better for you. Let me save you. Let me cry with you. He knows what to say. He says things that make me think, you know, there is hope. Having someone just acknowledge my depression, he's just acknowledging, that helps me. I don't feel like I have to hide from him like I do in public. So it's very freeing for me to have that someone who I can be around like that. And he's just there for me. You, didn't, you don't have to solve my problems, you're just there for me.
He also lets me cry. There are times where I just need a good cry. And he lets me, he's there, he's supportive. It's just the fact he lets me go through my emotions and he's supporting me, that means a lot. She allows me, especially when we're in public, she doesn't get embarrassed. Nope. She allowed me to be me, and that's special. On the flip side, I need to allow her to be her, the little mouse. <laughs> and if she's in a mouse mood, I don't need to bring her out the cake. Just let her enjoy the cake. Mm -hmm. That was good, huh? That was really <laughs> good. <laughs> How would you define love? Open. Sharing everything with one another. Sharing your ups. Sharing your downs. Sharing your weakness. Sharing your strengths. And for me, I need to remember if I'm having trouble doing something, I need to say, Lynn, would you mind helping me? And Chris, she does stuff for me that, uh, it's almost like when we're having a day watching TV and I spill something, no big deal. But the next day, She'll do something in the house that would help me with that situation. And I didn't ask her to do that. She did that because she loves me. Not because she wants to help me, because she loves me. Exactly. Yeah, that little coffee table on the side, he had a hard time because he had nothing put down on it and it kept on slipping. So I set up a little tray table and I put a cloth over it because I know sometimes he spills. And that way we just put it in the wash, put a new cloth on, and it really helped him. I felt like I walked into a new house. <laughs> oh, I didn't know what to do. It's like I'm not spilling something. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and for me, it felt good that somebody did something for me that came from not feeling like I gotta take care of Jeff. It came from me wanting to help Jeff because I love him. I'm happy for you, Jeff. Thanks a lot, Chris. And I can't wait to be at that wedding. Can I hug you? <laughs> Can you hug me? <laughs> oh my God. I love you, man. I love you too. And I love your love. Thanks for watching SBSK. Click subscribe here to be part of our community. Then hit the notification bell below so you never miss a story. You can even meet another friend here. See you next time.